<laughs> Setting us up. All right, we are live on Facebook. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. So thanks for joining me today. Um, Bree Stevens here for anyone tuning in from Lake Life Realty. And I have the privilege of having Leah King here from Lakes Region Dance and Meredith. Um, she's graciously accepted our invitation to talk about what's happening with her business um, during these times with COVID-19 and obviously things have changed for her, but there's a lot of exciting things that they've been implementing. Um, so first I wanted to have us hear directly from her, um, but let's go back to what Lakes Region Dance is and all about and kind of how you got started and how long you've been around. So thank you. <laughs> all right, thank you for having me. So dance um, I've owned for 15 years, but it's been previously owned by Lenore Sousa many years before that. Um, so we actually just recently moved to Meredith from Moultonboro uh, three years ago, which was huge for us. Um, so now we're right next to the emergency vets above PJs, and it's a great, great space. Um, we were able to grow and bring on new dancers. Um, so we offer everything from ballet, jazz, tap, modern, hip hop, point, contemporary, tumble. So we offer um, all different styles, ages two and a half to adults. Um, and it's just one great, great like community and family. It's awesome. awesome. And I know you have like a team as well because you have competitions and things yep. like that. Um, we have a competition team of almost 40. Wow. Dancers. Yeah. It's impressive. How many dances, I mean, I don't know if this is easy or hard question, does one usually take with you? The so that's dancer. interesting. Um, so the average dancer could have anywhere from one to 10 numbers. We bring 49 entries to competition weekends. Wow. Yeah, so like in one weekend, all of us teachers are, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty busy, so. And in the normal world, competitions start and how many, you know, when do those start? And when, how many of those do you have during the year? So they usually start in the spring um, as early as like January, February. We don't start until March, um, usually end of March, go into April and May. We do three with all of our groups and then an additional one with just our soloists. Um, which this is where it's been a little bit of a bummer this year because like literally the day before we were to have a competition, that's when they decided to like shut everything down. Oh, so yeah. really it was devastating for our competition season, but we're still hanging tight, but it will happen. Yeah, that's awesome. And then you all always have your show um, and usually have that at Interlakes as well yeah. people to go yeah. from the public and see what you all have been working on so hard all year long yeah and so we're still holding tight for our recital as well yes. even if maybe it has to be outside yep that would be fun yeah. <laughs> so <it's> different <laughs> yeah. and so since all of this has happened obviously you mentioned competition has changed things are in the air when they'll happen but you know what what from you directly has changed the most and evolving since then yeah so the first two weeks we actually completely took off um i think we all just needed to decide where everything was going in the world and what was going to happen we still held hope that we would be back in the dance studio after two weeks so when the governor announced that we would be out until you know may 6th at that point i literally took the entire weekend it was like we found out on friday Saturday morning, I had a Zoom with my teachers. All 10 of us were right away, yep, we're going to go live, and we're going to go live starting Monday with our full schedule. And so it was a weekend of crazy scheduling on Zoom, and we started Monday night, and we're in, we just finished week three, so. And just awesome. tell us how many classes that is for everyone. So that is 35 live classes. Um, really Monday through Friday night, every night of the week. We go starting at sometimes 3.15, all the way to like nine. It's impressive. So you send out these emails to your students and they know which, I mean, I can't imagine what your Zoom looks like at the back end of all the- Oh, <laughs> yeah, the scheduling has been like super crazy. But so I just sent out an email at the beginning and was like, here's all your links. So a lot of the kids now, 
really even like the nine-year-olds, 10-year-olds, they can just go right in and click the link and, you know, they're ready. They're ready to dance. That's awesome. It gives them something to look forward to socially since school Definitely. is out. Definitely. And I'm sure you, you have what I always refer to as the LRD family. You yep. refer to it much as a family as you spend so much time together. Um, we do. And you have all these classes. You said, you know, 10, up to 10 classes really, you know, as at the most almost for yeah. a student. So that's a lot yeah. of socializing that they're not getting and they want to dance. Um, exactly. So, so since this has all happened and you've brought dance virtually online, I know you've done a lot of different things um, to keep you know, the dancers engaged and doing fun things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't we start with, you did a spirit week. Um, we did do a spirit week. Yeah. What was that all about? That was just like fun, different challenges every day on our Instagram and our Facebook and lots of sharing and tagging and just to keep, that was during our first two weeks. So just to keep the dancers engaged and knowing that we're still there and we're still around and we still want to see them. So that was really fun. Yeah, I know that came up a lot for me on my social media accounts and it was super fun and the kids were so awesome. happy to do it um, and they're from exactly. home but they want to share and yep. you know, be part of the family again. Yep. And then um, LRD rocks. What yes. is that? So I actually saw the idea a while ago from I'm part of like a dance teacher Facebook group or studio owner Facebook group from all over the world, which first of all, has been really awesome and helpful for me because we're all in this big community and we're all dealing with the same thing. So we're helping each other out. So anybody, somebody posted the idea. So I thought it would be awesome, you know, LRD rocks. And so people have been painting rocks and writing very positive, uplifting messages and putting them in front of the dance studio. And I just went on Tuesday and I, oh, it was awesome to see Aww. it all. That's awesome. Yeah. I saw yeah. a picture of them so they can just come and drop their rocks that they made yep. and leave them outside. And yeah. No, very nice. Yeah, it's been awesome. I saw you also have, you know, you have 10 instructors. Some of your instructors are doing different things. Mary is one. Um, she has her crafts and story time. What's what's that for, for some of the kids? So we did that last Friday morning. So just ages, I don't know, anywhere from three to eight could come in and just do a craft and story time with her and Miss Mary, everyone loves Miss Mary. So she gets all creative and the cut out shapes from a magazine and made flowers and beach scenes. And then she read a story to them and we're going to do it again next Friday morning. So, so they just tune in on, on, yeah, they just go right to zoom. That's awesome. The yeah. technology that they're getting exposed to is so incredible. Agreed. Agreed. And then I saw you also had um, a We Miss You parade. That was, you know, five plus hours of driving time yes. to, to who, who were you visiting? All the students? So what we did was, it was actually one of my instructor, Megan's idea. She came up and she was like, let's do a parade. And I said, yes, I would love to. And I actually live in Bo. So I drove up and I had emailed previously all the parents as kind of like a surprise. Like, do you want us to stop by your house? Um, and so parents would, you know, say, yes, we're here. This is our address. Like, come whenever you can. And we had, like, almost 25 houses to go to. Um, we just drove around, and my husband was awesome. He mapped out a route so that, you know, we weren't backtracking anywhere. And I definitely got to see the Lakes region that day. That's for sure. I've been all over the place. But it was so fun, and the dancers loved it. That's awesome. I yeah. love that. And tuning in on Facebook, we have quite a few shout outs to you that I was just going to reach out. Melissa Durston Carroll. Yes. Sends her love. Yes. Yay. Um, Kimberly Eide, if I'm yeah. pronouncing her name right, she says hello. Um, so we have people tuning in right now um, live that are sending you all the hearts and emojis. <laughs> awesome. That's our dance family. <laughs> and so I also saw too. I mean, right now people, you know, your dancers rather aren't at the studio, but you're doing a blood drives and you've done quite a few of those at the studio. Do you want to tell us more about that? Yes, actually. So we've been doing it for over a year now and it's usually just, um, I don't know how many months exactly it is. It's like three months, I think that you can give blood. Um, so we've just been doing it that, you know, every three months, but Brian from the American Red Cross is amazing. He's like our go-to guy. He reached out when we had shut down and asked if he could use the studio because a lot of places they couldn't use. And I mean, I was just so excited to know that the studio could be used while it was shut down and 
you know, even if we weren't there, we were saving lives at the same time. So it's actually been, we've already had two and we're having another one in two weeks. And like the amount of appointments and the amount of blood that has been donated is like off the charts. So it's been so great. That's amazing. Good yeah. for you. I know yeah. it's thinking about that too, with the empty space there, but then you have that going on, which is a huge, huge benefit yeah. in the community. So Absolutely. That. Um, and then Laconia Daily Sun recognized you too for just all of these efforts that you're putting forth and bringing dance um, with your instructors to the students. Um, yeah. So that's a huge undertaking. I mean, 35 classes is impressive. <laughs> all the evening time. So after you're done homeschooling, <laughs> and your instructors are, it's definitely so much harder too than being in the studio so much but it's fun yeah definitely different but it's better than you know nothing and then losing losing touch and absolutely you know when you, you mentioned the beginning with the kids you know doing the different challenges they were sending in their videos and that was super fun and yeah you know, they enjoy their classes and look forward to eventually once competition and rehearsal i mean rehearsal um recital can take place <laughs> Yeah. So, that's awesome. Yeah. Is there anything else that you have coming up that you want to share? I know you have a lot that you've done and you have a lot going on. I mean, it's very impressive. <laughs> I mean, yes, yeah, like our season is coming close to an end. Um, so like I said, we're just hanging tight to a recital and our competition season that will hopefully happen this summer. And really it's just about making sure that the community can recognize the arts and how important it is for these dancers to keep moving. And that was our biggest thing was we have, we have to offer it. It's not even an option. These girls and boys need to know that we're still here and they can still dance because we know that it makes them feel good. Right. So. Absolutely. We have a question. Um, will you guys still be able to get all your costumes for your dances? So we actually have most of our costumes. Um, they're all in our costume room right now. We actually are usually ahead of the game and we order them super early. Um, so we will have all the costumes to be able to give to all the kids when they are ready. So that's good, that's good news. Yeah. Well, we definitely look forward to eventually, hopefully seeing the recital locally. Um, yeah. See the post on Facebook and I encourage everyone who's watching to and on the caption here, I have tagged Lakes Region Dance. Follow along and you can see all of the posts. They share so much that their students are, you know, sharing with them. And it's really the LRD family that's a huge family and a proud one. And it's really exciting and entertaining to watch. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so appreciate it so much, Leah. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Spread the word and we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.